in New York. One month later, Linda came to New York to attend the workshop at Mike's branch. Mike also picked her up at the airport. Linda, long time no see. <laughs> Come on, it's only one month. It had only been a month, but I feel like I hadn't seen her for a long time. How's it going? All good, except I missed you so much. How about you? I'm a little busy as I talked with you on WhatsApp. I booked a hotel where the workshop is taking place. It will be more convenient for you. Thanks. How thoughtful. And it's a beach view room. Hope that you will like it. Wonderful. Why do you know that I love beaches? It's a secret. <laughs> Here it is. Let me help you to bring your bags in. No worries. The bellboy will do it. I'll check in now and relax. You should go home as well. Thank you for your help. Okay, Linda. Yes. Would you like to have dinner with me tonight? I know you're tired because of sitting on the plane, but. I think I'd love to. I will take a break now. Then I'll be fine tonight. Yes, I'll pick you up at eight p.m. Okay. See you then. Hello. I've just arrived. Oh, hello. You came so early. Wait for me a couple of minutes. Yes, sure. No worries. I am waiting for you here. Take your time. Thank you for the meal. My pleasure. This restaurant has a bar counter nearby. Do you want to drink a little bit? Drink. Yes, then we can talk more. Okay, but just one glass. I don't want to have a headache tomorrow. Sure, it's up to you. I'm just curious. Why have you divorced? I'm so sorry if this question makes you feel awkward. I just, just. That's fine. Because we can't get along anymore. We got married when she was 23 and I was 28. We had absolutely nothing except two young hearts. So we had taken time to earn money as much as possible, to survive, to raise Lily growing up, and time blows everything up. We didn't have time for each other, you know. We. Argued every single day. This is not a new story for married life. We decided to give each other freedom. We are still friends now to raise Lily better. It's the best decision ever. I can't imagine if she would have to grow up in an unhappy family. So, how about you? How's your life? My life at the moment is okay. I wasted two years to step out of a love completely. I loved him for two years and wasted two years forgetting him as well. We argued every day, even because of tiny things. If we are not happy in love, we should move on. I needed time for myself, you know. I also needed my mind to focus on my business. So we've broken up, you know. It's common sense. Hi, 
Hi, Mike. Hi. Did you sleep well? Yes. And you? Me too. I think next time we should try two glasses. Hey, Mike. How do you do? Good. How about you, bro? Strong as an ox. Wow. Who is this? Aren't you going to introduce me? Ah,、oh, yes. This is Linda. Linda, this is David, my friend in the branch. Nice to meet you today, Linda. Nice to meet you too. Oh, do you like cappuccino? Yes, I do. Me too. I think we start having some common things. Do you mind if I invite you for a cup of coffee sometimes? Uh, hmm. Linda, what time is it? We have to leave now. If not, we might be late. Bye, David. Bye. See you later. Bye. I hope to see you soon. Hello. I want to go shopping. Is there any mall that I can walk to? Yes. There's a tea mall near our hotel. It's ten minutes walking. Okay, can you give me the direction, please? Sure. Let me show you. Oh my God! Where am I now? She said that I should turn left at the second crossroad, but maybe I'm in the wrong place. Hey, you're Linda, right? I'm David. We met yesterday before the meeting time. Why do you look so scared? David, nice to see you. I just got lost. I'm looking for Tea Mall. Oh, I know it. May I help you go there? There is the best cafeteria there. I would like to invite you for a cup of coffee. Could you give me the direction, please? I'm afraid I would bother you. No, it's my pleasure. What do you think about New York? A wonderful city. When I was young, I always dreamed that I would come here. It's the biggest city in the world, really. And about Chicago? It's my hometown. Absolutely, I love it most. But I will consider New York. I am falling in love with it. Hey, Mike. Hi, Linda. <gasps> Hi. Hmm. Did you get lost again when you came back? Nah, your guideline is so clear. What are you talking about? Ah.、Uh, I helped her when she got lost. Then we had some coffee together. Yes, I'm so lucky. I almost cried. What do you have, Linda? I want to have one too. Do you mind helping me, Mike? Really? I'm a waiter now. Ha.、Huh. I'm so sorry about last night. I don't know why I was like that. I understand, Mike. No worries. What do you think about David? He's a good man, Mike. Yes, I know. But he's not my type. So, what is your type? A thirty-four-year-old man with blonde hair. When will you fly back to Chicago? This Sunday. Would you like to hang out with me on Saturday? Linda, there's something I have to confess to you before you leave New York. I know I'm not a perfected man, but these words come from the bottom of my heart. I love you. Will you be my girlfriend? 
I was expecting you to say this. Yes, I do. Yes. Do you want to come to this city? I have my family in Chicago. I'm afraid that I can't. I will miss them too much. So I will ask for a branch change. I think my manager may agree. Really? Yes. This is the most beautiful day of my life ever. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.